Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Now, when it comes to viewing the planets, we really need to increase the magnification. Now, that usually means involving a Barlow or my preferred method using a high powered eyepiece. And uh, our friends uh, over at SV Boney have once again knocked the ball out of the park with this fantastic value for money. I really don't know how they do it for the money, actually. Uh, this fantastic uh, planetary eyepiece. Now I say planetary because this is a six millimeter eyepiece. Now this is gonna give you some uh, some amazing power. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It's gonna uh, push most telescopes to their limits, especially if you use this with a Barlow lens, which I wouldn't really recommend. Now, there's a simple uh, sum, uh, regular viewers will know this already to my channel, uh, to know what any eyepiece is going to magnify with uh, whatever telescope you're using. You just simply um, divide the focal length of the telescope with the millimeter, uh, all in millimeters, then uh, the millimeter of the eyepiece. Uh, for instance, my telescope that I regularly use is 900 millimeters. If I used it with this uh, eyepiece, this six millimeter, that's gonna give me 150 times magnification just with this eyepiece alone. That's 900 divided by six. And you can just work that out uh, to suit whatever telescope you're using. As I've already mentioned, it's the Gold Line series. Um, it's a uh, five element lens uh, configuration in these, and I can say it's all fully multi-coated. Um, now it's, it's 1.25 inches, standard 1.25. I don't believe it comes in two inch, I'm not quite sure. Um, but what really sets this apart from all the others is its uh, 66 degree field of view. Now this, for a uh, planetary eyepiece, or should I say uh, an, an eyepiece of this magnification, giving you this kind of power, that 66 degree field of view is going to be such a blessing to you. Uh, now, for all those who are not quite sure what field of view is, it's just simply the amount of sky that you can see when you're looking through the eyepiece. Um, and you, what you'll find is a lot of the cheaper eyepieces have got a very narrow field of view. Now, because we're using high magnification when, you, when viewing the planets, you'll, you'll have found out yourself that as soon as you get the planet in the field of view, um, we're using that high magnification no sooner is it in the field of view it's straight back out again uh, you know especially if you're not using a motor driven uh, mount uh, but what this does with that 66 degree field of view that's giving you a lot all the magnification that you need plus a lot of sky so it's going to give the uh, planet a lot more time or, or more importantly going to give you a lot more time at the eyepiece to enjoy viewing the planet another nice feature that you only usually find on more expensive um, eyepieces all the barrel is fully blackened and not only the barrel that's fully blackened on the inside but also the edges of the lenses. Uh, now this is important again like I say you only usually find this in more expensive eyepieces. The reason they do that they blacken the edges of the uh, the lens elements and it's just all to do with light scatter because whenever light passes through a, a, a lens you're going to lose some of that through the edges of the lenses but when they blacken those uh, lenses up it uh, reduces some of that light loss increasing contrast based basically. And of course, it does have a uh, threaded barrel here to accept any kind of filter that you may want to put on it. Another great feature as well, to say this is such a high powered eyepiece, is its eye relief. It's got a great eye relief, around about 16 millimeter. Now, eye relief is just simply how far you have to put your eye away from the uh, eyepiece to get a decent view. And uh, a 16 millimeter, especially for a planetary or, or, or a six millimeter eyepiece is quite a lot. And this is gonna be especially useful for if you do have to wear eyeglasses at the eyepiece you may have found out already you know um, cheaper eyepieces you, you just can't get close enough uh, to the eyepiece um, when you've got uh, virtually no eye relief now the other thing i really need to point out is just how big this um this main lens is 
uh, at the front here. Now, there's a lot of glass there. Now, if we just do a comparison here, if I just now, this is exactly the same eyepiece, if you like. Now, this is a six millimeter plossal eyepiece. But uh, if we just compare the, the two here, I mean, it's quite, look at the difference in that. And uh, and I can honestly say this uh, this was my go-to planetary eyepiece, but the eye relief on this Plossel is absolutely non-existent. And as you can see, uh, something else I forgot to mention on the SV Boney one, it does come with this uh, nice retractable eye cup as well. And as you can see, I've taken the eye cup off this Plossel because with the, with the eye cup on, you just simply can't get close enough. But but yeah, the difference in uh, the actual main uh, glass or the main lens of those two is uh, quite considerable, really. Now, of course, the views. I've not mentioned the views yet. What does this thing actually form like? Well, I can say stunning for the money. I can't believe it. Now, I'm not going to flash pictures up. Pictures really don't do telescopes or eyepieces any justice whatsoever you're just gonna have to take my word for it but this is one hell of an eyepiece for the money which is another thing we've not talked about and i can tell you with all the uh all the uh things that tick the boxes all the correct things that tick the boxes uh, for a planetary eyepiece like this usually you you're spending hundreds of pounds on one i think these are retailing around about 40 pounds at the minute now, of course, I will leave a link into the description uh, of where to get, and I would say grab one now while you can at that price. Um, I have got a note here. Yeah, yeah, it is £40. I'll just double check that. Around about £40. Now, uh, just quickly on the links, there is, I'm having a few little issues with providing links for these particular products at the minute. It's not me, it's something on SV Boney's side. Uh, so hopefully there will be a link in the description for this eyepiece. If not, just keep Keep, keep checking I'm sure there'll be one soon but but like I do say the, the views with this are, are crystal clear they really are and uh, a good test for any eyepiece is right around the edges um, and sometimes you'll get like stretch stars and uh, almost uh, and false color can be something else that comes into it and I can honestly say little to none of that was noticed when I was uh, viewing through this. Uh, another question I often get when I'm uh, reviewing eyepieces is, will it work with my telescope? I have a such and such a telescope. And to be honest with you folks, uh, these kind of eyepieces are designed for entry-level telescopes and uh, not that you can't use it with the big expensive telescopes, of course you can, uh, and it will work with no matter what telescope you've got. And uh, like I say, for all the years I've been doing this hobby, I've never had an eyepiece that's not worked with a telescope. Uh, so I'm sure you're going to be fine on that, that side of uh, things. And one last thing I'd always like to say when it comes to viewing the planets and using high magnification is to just use an eyepiece. Now, don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against Barlow lenses, but if you can just get a good quality eyepiece, such as this SV Boney here, a good uh, quality, high-powered one, using that just on its own is actually going to give you a better view, overall view. And uh, this all goes down to what I talked about before, about light scattering, because because whenever you put light through glass you lose some of it and of course when you're using a Barlow lens which are sometimes two three even four elements in a Barlow lens plus the elements in your eyepiece you are losing a, such a lot of light so uh, just using a high, an eye powered uh, eyepiece on its own uh, will give you the best um, light gathering capabilities of your telescope when using high power so there we go folks, the SV Boney Gold Line 66 degrees 6 millimeter eyepiece. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I would highly, highly recommend grabbing one of these as quick as you can. <laughs> well, that's it for another video, folks. Thank you so much, as always, for dropping by. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you never know, that next video might be just that one you've been searching for. <laughs> well, in the meantime, folks, take good care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.